Hey, what's going on gamers? In today's video, we're gonna teach you how to get infinite money, infinite resources, and more. So let's go. All right guys, so what you're gonna wanna do is go to your star map, and we're gonna travel to the soul system. Once you get into there, we're gonna go and travel to Venus. Can really travel anywhere, um, but I just chose the deserted relay. To get there, you want to get up from the cockpit, and then let's head on over to this chair right here. And we're just gonna wait for about two days worth. I know this is overkill, but yeah, you can set it to whatever you want. You just want it to be at least forty-eight hours worth. Now, Venus, one hour is four hours UT. Afterwards, let's get up from the chair. And we're going to load up our star map once again. And we're going to head on over to Alpha Centauri. We get to Alpha Centauri, head on over to Jameson, where we're going to head to the commercial district. We're gonna run over, head past Outland, head past Galp Bank, and take a left and go up these stairs. Take another left, gonna cross over this bridge. And here you're gonna find what I call the hidden secret door. So the reason why I call it that is, you'll see in a second, we get right through the door and we can peek over the ledge. So if you don't have a power boost pack, I really recommend getting these anchored immobilizers. If you can find them, craft them, whatever. So we're gonna break our legs. If you don't have the power boost pack, I kind of aim for this rock area right here and dislocate a limb. That's okay though. I'm gonna run past to the right of this elevator and you're gonna see this little divot here. It's gonna kind of be your landmark. One important thing is we're gonna need to quick save just in case we die. So if you head on down, I apologize. I shouldn't have done this during the nighttime, but this will still be easy to explain. Gonna kind of aim for the middle of the arch where you want to line yourself up, and gonna just slightly go over this edge, and then start to just run towards the wall. We're falling, we're falling. We should land on this little dip here, and then we're gonna just do this again. Try and land a little crack so you don't fall on the left side. We're gonna head forward and drop on down. Typically, you don't hit this little invisible wall where you just continuously fall, but we made it. All right. So, as you can see, we are underneath and inside the map. And here's where we're going to find the first chest here, right below Terra Brew Coffee. Now, there are three different chests that we're going to encounter here. You can skip this one if you want. I just like to get a few extra creds. And since we're going to get overweight, we want to get this increase in O2 recovery. Um, so, I just consume some to regenerate some health and save about three of them. And let's head on over to the second crate. So second crate here is just below this other merchant. As you can see, I still have some uh, leftover stuff when I accidentally transferred all. So open that bad boy up. Um, let's see here. So yeah, there's various weapons, spacesuits. If you really want to min-max this thing, pick those up and sell them as well. Uh, but specifically, I want to take all the ammo and a bunch of different heals. Usually I go for med packs and the ship parts, but you'll see later in the video, I totally forgot to pick those up. But ship parts, med packs, I think super important. If you want to get any other status impairment uh, correctors, whatever they're called, go ahead and pick those up as well. Now the other main thing is, is we're going to head over to resources and just transfer all of those. And lastly, head on over to the miscellaneous tab, pick up your credits and your digipix. So once we do that, we're going to run over here. I'm going to pop one of those Terabu Macchianos. We can get that increased recovery. And eventually we get to the loading docks. As you can see, my ship is over here. The ship merchant is right here. And then right below him is his inventory crate. 
So find the sweet spot here. Once we can jump up enough to interact with the crate, as you can see, there is 72,000 credits in here. So if you do this the first time, there's probably gonna be a little bit more. And once we are able to interact with that, there we go, we got it. So now we just gotta get out of this little divot here, get back up to our ship. And uh, I guess there's this guy. Better days, it? <laughs> Whatever you say, dude. All right. So this is my method. I'm going to head into our ship and I just go to one of my outposts because that's really where you're going to use those resources for doing a lot of things. So I have one over in Seoul on uh, Callisto. So down over to that outpost and I just have this little area created just for this sole purpose only right now. So we'll head on inside. And right to the right, that's where I dump my ship parts off so I can keep them separated from my resources. But again, if you notice from what I said earlier, as I sort it by mass, I realize I did not pick up the ship parts. That's okay. So I'll head on over to my little pile of resources. As you can see here, this is the tedious part. Going over into our resources and just drop all of them. After you do that, uh, basically all you gotta do is head back over to Venus, wait a little bit, get that reset, and rinse and repeat. So if you liked the video, like and follow for more, and we'll see you in the next one. Happy gaming.